Good morning, YouTube. It is New Year's Eve 2019, the very last day of 2019. And we are currently set up at South Llano River State Park. We decided we're gonna cut our stay here a little bit short and journey north, head up towards Abilene State Park. Abilene State Park. We're here and I'm liking what I see. There's what we have out behind us, just really thick cross timbers, bottom land. A great big old pecan tree. Looks like they left us a little pecan wood to burn. Of course it may be, may still be green. Anyway, let's, let's start at the front and go to the back. Since we're in the back, we'll go to the front. We're in site number 58. We're no longer available. We're reserved. Site number 58 is on a, a dead end loop. There's uh, three sites back in there. So there won't be a whole lot of traffic. I'm. I, I kind of don't like the, the way the yard faces the, the street. They, they always do this. Uh, these sites should have been, so these sites are the right way. So when you come in, your patio faces that way. These sites should have been cut this way. So you would go down and turn around and come back and then back in. And that way you're looking at the nature as opposed to the road. Anyway, that, that's the only detractor I really have for this this side. It's it's very friendly for the mobility challenged. It does have quite a bit of slope for the RV, so this front wheel is not quite off the ground. But this one is about three inches, four inches off the ground. So we got quite a bit of lift on the front. This is a 30, 50, and water site. 
lots, lots of shade. Thought this was kind of odd having the, the water on this side of the power pole. Just make sure you get a good connection on your water so you're not spraying your power. And then we're at the back of the back of the side again. There's a wheel stop there, but the tree will get you long before the wheel stop does. Fire pit. GoPro camera. <laughs> Mine, it won't be here when you get here. Aluminum table on a concrete pad. That's it. Pecans, lots of pecans. So you can just pick up pecans right here. And they're native pecans too. So these are very oil rich. They're a beast to get into because they've got a real thick shell, but they are uh, more they have more oil It's late in the day at Abilene State Park. I Don't know that I'm gonna shoot any more video. We'll see Stay tuned got all day tomorrow to do it Good morning January 1 2020 and we are at Abilene State Park kind of cloudy and Breezy this morning, and unfortunately, Little Red is so very dead. So I'll be touring the park in the truck this morning, today. Not sure what we're going to do about Little Red. Quite frustrating, to be honest. I really rely on that, that platform to get around and show you all what there is to see. Anyway, I'm going to cook up some bacon and eggs, baby and we'll go from there. Stay tuned, more to come. We have some screen shelters. So you don't have to have an RV and you don't have to sleep in a tent. And it's really set up for a group. The great big barbecue cooker and three big concrete picnic tables and it's you know it's your typical screen shelter it's got a table in it they're all locked let's go see some more stuff we're going to explore the park well if you're going to pay a visit to Abilene State Park and you got a a whole mess of people coming with you you might want to utilize the group shelter not exactly sure what that implies but I think it's kind of like a rec hall and it's just locked and the windows are closed the blinds are closed so we really can't see inside there's Wi-Fi there's a Wi-Fi antenna on top, and they have a big fireplace. Right, so I'm going to go over there, and we're going to check out some yurts. That's what I said, a yurt. Greg knew to get Mason and yeah. approval first. I, 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 She's getting our boss. Yes, sir. I did four years. Thank you for your service. I was in the Marine Corps for four years. Thank you for your service. Yes, sir. All right. I have gained special access to the yurt. Here at Abilene State Park. Check this out. Oh man, this is cool. This is like a little little living room. Concrete floor. Nice big skylight. And you could sleep, what, maybe five people comfortably in here? Look at that. That's so cool. Air conditioned, heated. And that's alright. So you don't even have to stay in a screen shelter cool let's go see some more stuff we're at wagon circle hall and this is just a big loop of campsites so that if you're having a, a rally a recreation a big rv convention this would be a good place for that 
It's probably locked, but that's all right. We don't need to see in there. It's just going to be a big building, you know. It's exactly what it is. A big out there. Ooh, big chessboard. You can be a chess piece. It's a great big cooker. You can cook up a huge, I say a huge, you can cook up a big mess of hot dogs. All right, we're going to head up to the pool. That's what I said, the pool. Abilene State Park was actually constructed by the CCC. I don't know if that was built by the CCC because it looks like it's brand new. Maybe they rebuilt it. But this talks about the structures. We're going to get to talk about that one shortly. But right now we're going to talk about the one we can't see here. And if you got a mess of kids with you, and they're burning, they're, they're driving you crazy because they're full of energy. You can bring them over here and let them wear themselves out. Volleyball over there. Soccer and baseball over there. Horseshoes right there. This is the water tower built by the CCC. I don't know if we can go up inside. I don't I don't see any windows up there, so it's probably not much. Probably not even a way in. Nope, it's locked up. Can't see anything through that window. But I can see another window on the other side. Anyway. That's pretty cool. It's a beautiful setting. No question about that. All right. I'm going to make my way over here. I'm going to make my way over to the pool. That's what I said. Swimming pool. shuffle for me. I really miss my scooter. This is Park Center. What is this right here? Park Center Lake Abilene State Park. It was built May 10, 1934. Built by the CCC. Those guys just did some truly incredible stonework. I don't know. But as, as with most of the Texas state parks that were built by the CCC, we have the Damps Pavilion, even have benches. And many Texas state parks are still hosting the, the Damps. They do that during the summer hours or summer months. They do it in the summer. And the watchtower here, it's just a really cool structure. We'll go up to the top and check it out. bit of climb a little bit of a climb but man look at this we get a good view of the swimming pool that's a little kitty pool
not much else to see from up here let's go see some more stuff we rolled up over here we really just could, we couldn't figure out what this red fence is all about I know why this one's up. This is to protect the monument, the memorial, I guess, for the CCC Company, 1823. So I, I paused and took a moment to read this plaque, and you're not going to be able to see it very well because of the glare. But this plaque talks about the CCC company that constructed Abilene State Park. And as we saw from the stone down here, that was Company 1823. What made that company unique is that it was comprised entirely of World War I vets. So, it, they, you know, it wasn't built by farm kids. It was built by veterans of World War I. Very interesting. All right, let's go see the lake. State Park is kind of unique in that it's on two sides of the state of the highway. And one side is what you would expect from the state park with camping loops and the swimming pool and, and all, all that stuff. The other side is the lake, Lake Abilene. And here we are standing on the boat ramp the state park boat ramp at Lake Abilene. Now, I've never been to this park before, but this sure looks to me like this lake is really, really low. But you do have a boat ramp at Lake Abilene. And there's other stuff we can do over on this side of the lake too, so we're gonna go check that out. Abilene State Park. Here I am at the kayak launch. Canoes and kayaks are available for rental. And there's a fishing dock, but as with most, what, what we're seeing a common theme here in a lot of these state parks that we're visiting, it's very much in disrepair. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of saddened by what I'm seeing here on this, in this part of the, of the park. Primarily because the water level is just so low. There you have it. Let me go back over to the other side.
We're coming to the end of the day here at Abilene State Park. It's a pretty little park. This is a quiet park, except for the highway. We're gonna be getting on the road and headed back home tomorrow. We're actually running a couple days early. Thanks to no scooter, there's not much for me to do other than sit in camp and I need to go home and solve my scooter dilemma. And I think I have found an answer. We'll see. More on that later. For tonight, having the ribeye, the, uh, the customary end of journey ribeye, some grilled jalapeno peppers. We're just doing those on the gas grill. But I've got a little smoker going in there. Kind of give them a smoky flavor. Abilene State Park is, is not one of those parks that you should go out of your way to visit, unless you're close by. If you're close by, you should come visit this at least once. Don't drive from Houston to Abilene State Park. You can stop at Abilene State Park on your way to Caprock Canyon State Park. It's really, a, it's a good waypoint, a great waypoint. Two days and you, you're done because the lake is practically empty. Uh, there's not a, there's actually not that many hiking trails. And when the pool is closed, the park is really quiet. So if you're just looking for a nice quiet place where there's not a whole lot of people, this is a good one. There's nothing great about it. And when we were riding around earlier, Yappy said, well, what makes Abilene State Park famous? I said, well, they got a swimming pool and a, and a water tower, and that's about it. I'll stop by as I'm traveling through again in the future. I'm gonna close it down. Hey, if you've enjoyed our visit to Abilene State Park, Share me on your social media. Tell all your friends and family about this crazy dude traveling Texas. If you have not already, please click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well. That way you'll never miss another episode of Dude RV. I post new videos every, every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. And for those of you who have already subscribed, man, I appreciate you coming along on the journey. It is such an honor to be creating these videos for you to help you make your decisions as to where to go next. Or if you can't go anywhere, the videos are for you so that you can go somewhere in your own living room. With that being said, thank you. I am honored. Y'all come back now, you hear?